ToddFun.com. Today's fun is the installation of a whole house hot water recycling system. Uh, just as the box says, never wait for hot water um, ever again. Uh, it's a picture of it on the back of the box. It's a pump with a timer control on it and that hooks up to your top of your hot water heater. Uh, its job is to uh, provide hot water at, uh, at the faucets anytime that timer says it's, it's on. Our problem here in Arizona is, is we have our pipes running through our slab. And so in the winter, the slab gets cold at night down in the 40s and th sometimes 30s. And so it takes a couple minutes for the hot water to come to a faucet. And at a sink, that was, un that was just unacceptable at a sink in the kitchen. So what I had done for the last eight years is I had this little two and a half gallon hot water heater. It works the same as an electric hot water heater. It runs on 110 outlet. You plug it in under your sink and you had two and a half gallons of uh, hot water at your, at your kitchen sink whenever you wanted it. That worked for the last eight years. Um, I've had to fix it a couple times, but it's now broken to the point where it's not cost effective. By the way, this little thing costs $250. It's almost the same as a full-size water heater, so that ain't no cheap solution. And you only get hot water at one faucet. Whereas this is supposed to give you hot water pretty much at every faucet. Um, we'll talk about how that works here in a second, but it's cheaper. This box costs $200. So that's, that's considerably cheaper. And the concept is that it provides about 80 pounds of pressure leaving your hot water heater and pumps it to uh, one particular faucet, preferably the furthest faucet from your, from your water heater. At that sink, there's a uh, temperature sensing valve that you have to install that crosses over from the hot to the cold. And then that 80 pounds of pressure then pushes that cold water all the way back to the hot water heater through the, uh, through the actual through the cold water supply. But then because you're pumping that out of the hot water heater, it goes back to the hot water heater. Well, that's pretty clever because now you're not just running water to get to the hot water and dumping it down the drain. You're circulating that water back to your hot water heater. So once the cycle is done and it's up to temperature, that valve turns off and it no longer pumps any water around. So you actually take that hot water that you've already heated and you bring it back to your hot water heater. Uh, so that's cost savings right there. And you're saving on water because you're not wasting any water in this process. So that's cost saving again. So this can be really an interesting solution. Yes, there is an issue there. You, you now have hot water in your cold water supply because it brought it back to the hot water um, by providing that 80 pounds of pressure. You normally, you're, you only have 40 pounds of pressure and that's how that kind of system works. And that valve will, under your sink uh, will stop the flow and the whole system shuts down when, the, when it senses hot water at that sink. So now when you want cold water, you turn it on and you have to wait for the hot water that may still be there. Because that, of course, that water is cooling off when the system's not running. But if there is hot water on the cold side, then you're going to have hot water on the cold side. So that's going to confuse some people when they turn on the cold and they're like, hey, there's hot water here. But it should quickly, you know, turn to cold, and, and that isn't a big issue for me because I'm no, I want cold water. I keep it in the fridge, so you know I don't need that much cold water. Plus, it's going to chill off in that line. It's not going to be real super hot, and I haven't heard too many people complain, but it could cause some confusion. But uh, this should be cheaper now because uh, I ain't heating water um, at my sink anymore. I'm heating it in a more economical heating or gas-fired system, um, so that should be should be even cheaper for me to, to heat water. Now, I know it's a, it's a recycling system, it recycles the water, and it only is getting and coming from the one particular uh, sink, uh, the farthest one from your heater. So, what if you want hot water at like a bathroom or someplace else, or something that's on a completely different leg of, of your hot water supply? Well, you can buy, for another $50, you can buy one of those sensing valves. It's, it's not electrical or anything, it's just a temperature controlled valve. Uh, and you put that at the other sink that you want hot water, and then it too will open up and let the system flow water through, hot water through, and you'll have hot water there too. But that's another fifty dollars wherever you want one of those uh, temperature sensing valves. But then if you do put one, uh, normally you'll have some hot water everywhere. If you're like re re if you're recycling hot water to one of the farthest ones, you're going to probably have reasonable hot water at all of your faucets. 
But if you don't have that, you, it isn't that much of an expense to have that with another $50 investment of another valve. And it's a kit, so it's just a pretty simple thing to install. So uh, I'm going to open the box, show some things on the bench, and then we're going to uh, uh, do the install and talk about it a little bit. And then I'm going to put this video in a can for about a month or two. And I'm just going to use the system so that at the end of the video you'll know whether or not I saved money or if the money was the same and whether or not I liked it and whether or not I had to buy more of those sensing belts. Um, so stay tuned for that too. Hey, this is the contents of the bag. Um, we have our circulating pump. Uh, it's made by Watts, W-A-T-T. -T.